So, Aidan, here we are just days out from the, the Ulster Championship opener against Down. I suppose, could you paint a picture for us about how things are going at the minute? Obviously, the league ended disappointingly, but you boys have been putting on a lot of hard work over the last couple of weeks in preparation for this, this trip to Newry. It's been a really positive month. Um, lads have worked really hard, uh, and it was it'd be refreshing to get the, the league behind us after uh, it was over. Um, obviously, some disappointing performances and a bit of frustration and all the rest, but... Uh, the championship opening date clarified minds pretty quickly and um, we knew that that was the opportunity to try and rectify what had gone before. So, yeah, there's been a lot of good work. Um, players have been very focused and, and uh, Sunday's a huge challenge, but it's a huge opportunity as well. Yeah. You said in the, the press briefing there that, that the guys have worked extremely hard and that there's a lot of clarity within, within the group. Now, what, what did you mean by that, Aidan? Well, I mean, from in very simple terms, um, you know, there were there's a lot of noise around the outside mm -hmm. of the squad, and you know, there were people carrying injuries that didn't know whether they were going to make it or not, and probably have a very more closed, settled group now. You know, a lot of that has been clarified. Um, everybody knows what's expected of them, where their opportunities are, um, and what's the championship traditionally, obviously, is is a is a massive opportunity um and a, a big target for the season so i mean hitting the ground running on sunday is very important for everybody yeah how much gain is needed from the group do you think from where he's were at the end of the league to take a one at the weekend yeah for sure we have to be better but it, everybody is going to be better you know that's yeah. the nature of time and having the opportunity to prepare without necessarily having matches every week and um, that that does give you a, a great chance to to build yes we we have to be better um can give you a percentage but yeah. that has to be uh, significant. Yeah. What about the injury situation at the moment? Because there's quite a few patterns not there. Oshin, obviously the likes of Ryan has, le has left the group as well. Yeah. Is there a bit of pressure from your point of view now in trying to, to follow these rules that, that these men have, have vacated for one reason or another? I don't see it as pressure. No. I see it as opportunity for lads. You know, um, I mean, you want all the best footballers um, and you want them there pushing and, and trying to move the team forward. But um, lads pick up injuries and there's going to be more and we'll come back in, some will drop out. That's just the nature of how the championship will evolve. Um, I'm happy that there's there's a good group going in Uri on Sunday. Um, and I'm happy that the boys who aren't going to be there Sunday are are doing their best to get back. Yeah. What sort of challenge is it you're expecting from there? You were obviously part of uh, a down setup in, in recent years, so you know the way they play the football, they know how committed they are. What are you expecting in Park Esther on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a tough place to go and play and um, down will bring a lot of energy and pace to the game and they'll certainly test us when, when they have the ball um, we have to bring our own game to it and impose ourselves um, I mean there's a lot of good footballers on, on the Donegal team and uh, we hope to bring that to the fore on Sunday yeah. and just in your own position as manager now interim manager of, of, of the county obviously there was that disappointing day in Ross Common which came off the back of, of Paddy uh, stepping away from, from the role your discussions with the county board um, was it an easy decision for you to make along with Paddy to, to stick with this group obviously you've seen the potential there Aidan yeah listen from the outset there's been a lot there's a lot of potential it's, it's mm. plain to be seen and you know I think the people of Donegal would recognise that um, there's some transition you know there's been retirements and People injured, medium and long term, and there's younger players coming in, and some have done really well. So, I suppose the the challenge is to mold all that together into a team and a team performance. Um, so, yeah, um, in terms of supporting the group, um, a lot of a lot of discussion with Paddy Carr on this, and uh, Paddy, being a, a, a deep rooted Donegal man, felt the best thing for the the squad was continuity at the time, and um, we're happy to try and push the thing on as far as we can this season. Yeah. Did you change much since Paddy's departed? The, how, how have you altered things to go to work the way that Aidan work wants it to work? Um, yeah, that's probably subtle, you know, yes. uh, in terms of the, the environment maybe, more, more so than, than uh, anything significant, you know. And um, I mean, the, the environment evolves anyway. That, you know, that's the nature of any uh, high-performance team um, where player staff and anybody who has a decent opinion get input and change things and so we're always kind of reassess and do things better and uh, that that would have happened anyway it's just a natural evolution yeah there's a number of players in this group have Ulster championship medals how possible is it that that could happen again for for Donegal this year 
in the next four or five weeks is all about Ulster Championship yeah. for us. That's the total focus. And um, we don't see any team in Ulster that we're afraid of, you know, that we don't feel we can beat. So, I mean, we're in the start line on Sunday. Um, and it's really only about the down game. Um, if you creep over the line in that one, there's only four teams left. Yeah. Okay. Well, we wish you the very best luck in the Ulster Championship. Thanks for talking to us, Ian.